Joto, man, what's good with y'all? I'm back with another video. It's your boy, none of the soul, none of the chosen one, none of the glow. Shout out to all the new subscribers. Shout out to everybody participating in No Nut November. You know, I have a couple of y'all keep hitting me up saying, nah, nah, this is not a challenge. Me specifically, you know I know this, all right? I've been retaining my seed like a lifestyle, you know, for on, on and off for two years straight. So I know this is not a challenge, right? But for those who are starting, who, those who are new to this, it is a challenge for them. They're trying to get used to holding on to their seed. Even though it's supposed to be normal, we know. You know, we know it. Those who are experienced with semen retention, NoFap, and all the other practices spiritually, we know this is a lifestyle. We know, okay? But the new people who are starting to learn about this don't know that. Okay, they don't know that. So using it as a challenge can help them re realize the greatness and potential in holding on to their seed. Okay, because a lot of people don't know how, how much power their seed. I mean, obviously, especially men, they don't know how much power their seed holds. They just think, oh, I'm going to just let one off, you know, because it feels good. But, you know, you don't know that that life that you release in, it's a part of you. Right, so you're losing a part of yourself. You're just wasting life. You're wasting lives. Okay, those are babies that are, you know, waiting to be created with a woman that you are in a relationship with. You both love each other, right? Procreation is the only time where the seed was supposed to be released. God created our seed as men. We were supposed to hold it and wait for our wives, and then we can start going crazy. How have have as many children as you want. Right, if, if she's your wife, have as many children as you want. Even in the book of Genesis, it tell, God tells us to, to be fruitful and multiply. This is, God is telling us to have children, to procreate, to make children, right? So it don't matter if you have 10, 12, 20, 30 kids. It don't matter. As long as it's your wife you're having those kids by, then it's okay. She's your wife. She's your God-ordained spouse. You know, so a lot of people don't realize this, but NoFap, right, is the lower stage of semen retention and monk mode. You know, it goes monk mode, the highest, semen retention in the middle, no fap is last, okay? I mean, I have, I, I don't remember, but I, I think there's somebody on my channel who's practicing alien mode. I don't know what that is, okay? So I'm not gonna add it to the list. I don't know what that is, bro. If you, if you want to explain it to me, please explain it to me, but I don't know what alien mode is, so I can't touch on it. But what I know from, you know, me practicing semen retention no fap um monk mode I've, I've i practice all three let me know what you guys practice right i hope you don't only just practice no fapping right that's a good thing obviously i don't want y'all to fap obviously but also practice semen retention you know and monk mode if you want to okay but i suggest i highly suggest semen retention and no fap monk mode is just strictly cutting off women you can't talk to women and you're just straight grinding. Well, guess what? If that's what you want to do, if you are in that state, then you can go ahead. But me, I'm on semen retention and no fab. I'm not so I'm not I'm not really a monk mode right now. You know, when I see women that you know I find attractive, I talk to them. Okay. I talk to them, I talk to women in general. I just love women. I'm a man, of course. But I don't I don't I don't give my strength and, and power to these women that I want to talk to. No, that's not how it works, right? I value my seed. I value, you know, what God has given me as a man. I value that. And you should too. Because if you don't value it, guess what? The more you keep spilling it, you are not a man. You don't have the value no more. You don't have value when you keep busting your nuts. There's no value within you no more, fellas. Your value is the seed. It's the life force, your vitality. This is where the value lies, not your looks. Okay, not the money you, you, you can you can make, not the car you drive, not the jewelry, clothes, drip, none of that. None of that makes you a valuable man. It don't matter, bro. Not, are you gonna take those things with you when you die? Right? You know, you, you probably question, you know, I have this nice watch or this nice ring. I have these things because I know I like to look good, right? But it doesn't mean I cherish these things. I don't put this these things over God. Right, I like to look good. I like to clean up, dress up, right? Look fly. I'm a young man, of course. But I don't put my love into materialistic objects. I don't at all. 
I love Jesus Christ. I love the one and only true and living God, Christ, Jesus Christ. That's the only thing I love, person I love, right? Like truly, like, like obviously I love my family. I love my supporters. But from for all the above, the, all the love I really have goes to God, bro. That's just me. Okay, that's just me. But a lot of people don't realize these things in our society. They don't realize that busting gallons of nuts throughout the week is killing them, right? They have no desire to chase their goals. As a man, the more you keep busting, you have no desire to chase your goals. You have no motivation. You have no willpower. You don't have drive, right? You don't have no masculinity left. Your tank is empty. You know, your body has to do so much work over your body has to work in overtime now right <laughs> i'm thinking about i'm thinking about basketball well they play all the four quarters right and then and then it's still a tie right it's still a tie what happens even in football too what happens they go to overtime right your body is working in overtime to create more sperm when you are constantly depleting your life force think about this the more you keep busting off you are constantly in a state of lack. You're constantly, you're constantly looking for things outside of in you, right? Outside of yourself to get that, 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 uh, uh, to get, to get what you're looking for, the energy, right? The, uh, the, the nutrients, the proteins, the enzymes, right? You're, you're, you're looking for things outside of you to, 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 to take. When you are retaining, that's not the case. You hold on to this seed, you have the minerals, you have the vitamins, proteins, enzymes, blood, water, you have it all. Look at my skin, right? You, you see my skin? I look very like moisturized, right? I mean, I, I do, I, I use my skincare product, uh, my skincare product, Teej Hanley. If you guys know Teej Hanley, then you know, okay? But it's a great product for men. Make sure you guys, I mean, I may drop, I may, I may create a link for y'all to go start buying from Teej Hanley, who knows? Okay, let me know if you guys want that. But that's what I use for my face, my skin, okay? But it doesn't matter. I still have this natural glow about myself because I'm holding on to all of these minerals, all of these vitamins, all of these proteins, the water, the blood. I'm holding on to so much right now. I'm 101 days in on this journey, right? All the new people who are watching this and you want to get to this high amount of streaks, right? I'm making a, I'm, I'm making a uh, series where I'm talking about No Nut November. I did a day one yesterday. Make sure y'all go check that out in my shorts on my channel, I'm make a day two today for those who are going on the path. You probably have relapsed, right? And you want you want motivation to bounce back. I got you, okay? I got you, I got you. I'm 101 days in, but I got y'all who, who, who want that extra push, that extra motivation to keep going, right? So basically, it's like I'm making it seem like I'm, I'm on the same streak as y'all, but I'm really not. You know, I'm obviously 101 days in, but the, the video is to help you you know, to keep pushing, to get inspired, to keep retaining, because it get be it gets better. Right now, I feel okay, I feel good, all right. But I, I still feel like I'm going through that deep, the, the, the cleansing phase. I feel like a lot of a lot of things in me are changing. My mind is changing. My mind is shifting. You know, I feel very different. Okay, I feel very different. Um, and I'm also doing. I, I don't. Okay, I can't even tell y'all. You know, I don't. I don't like saying what I do. You guys, you guys probably have a clue what I'm. What I do, right? As in semen retention and, you know, I'm gonna make a video about it. I'm gonna just say it, semen retention and fasting, bro. You know, it's something very, very great to do. Semen retention and fasting, those two right there, bro, you're gonna be feeling amazing. You're gonna be feeling a little bit drained though if you're used to eating a lot. You know, for these past couple of months, I ain't gonna lie, I've been eating a lot of food. So me fasting, me breaking that now, you know, fasting right now, is it's, it, it's, you know, I feel different. I feel a little bit lethargic. Right, I feel a little bit lightheaded. I, I gotta go definitely drink me some water because I feel very lightheaded. I feel the the flesh is weak when you are fasting. Your flesh is very weak, so you you start to feel lazy. Okay, but your spirit is on fire. Your spirit is happy. Your soul is happy because you're not you're not giving it all of these uh, you know external foods. You don't really need you know we can survive. I think the max we can survive. Quote me on this if I'm wrong. Is one week. You know, we can survive without food for just one week. If you go past one week, you're, you're going to die. Don't Please don't go past one week. I'm not a doctor. <laughs> I don't advise you to uh, fast for over one week. Please don't. The max I tell you to fast is two days or three days. That's it. Right? Now, obviously, I'm not a doctor, but that's my experience. 
three days it was my max and I actually did it and bro I lost a lot of weight you know um, I lost I don't know I lost a lot of fat okay my skin started to clear up my eyes became more pure fasting is amazing bro like I was more connected to God it's very powerful to fast on this journey I think I'm gonna make another video on it because you guys need to understand how important it is you know to fast and to you know just withhold and discipline yourself from not eating all the time the same way you discipline your sexual pleasure you can do the same thing by uh, with your uh, your your eating habits right in life you just have to be disciplined as a man or else it's gonna be hard for you to achieve success it's gonna be hard for you to get what you want out of life if you're not a disciplined man you're gonna struggle okay you're going to struggle but yeah man I just want you guys to know right I don't even know what I'm gonna title this video I'm just ranting I'm just talking you know I'm just letting you guys know the truth I'm just letting you guys know some gems I have in my head okay this journey is amazing keep going I can't wait to get back up to 200 days on semen retention right it's gonna be it's gonna be a it's gonna be a long road the same way I made it 200 days man it's gonna be a it's gonna be another <coughs> it's gonna be another long road man on the road right but with that being said y'all let me know what you guys want to see from me bro let me know what type of video ideas you guys have what do you guys want you know what 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 videos do you guys want to see from your boy nano the soul you know i see a lot of you guys follow me on instagram i appreciate y'all follow me on ig nano the soul with two l's follow me right follow me in the description down below cop some merch right book a call with me so i can talk to y'all on one one-on-one -on -one. you know because i love speaking to y'all i love talking to my supporters people who rock with my content okay but life just seems better man look at birds it's like it's like birds it's like birds can 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 feel the essence right they just bro anytime i'm retaining for high streaks birds start to fly around me like they, they're like five four birds just flying bro on the tree just staring at me <laughs> nature nature bro i'm telling y'all man it's like i mean obviously animals are connected to god right so it's like when they're around you they can feel it they can feel the presence they can feel like you, you holding something animals feel it people feel it babies feel it you wonder why sometimes when you want bait when you come around babies little children they stare at you bruh is i know i'm not the only one little kids be staring you know as in the essence we hold in they can feel it children are closer to god bro they haven't been you know defiled yet they haven't done wicked things yet they're still children so when they can feel that pureness coming off of you, they're going to look at you. And they're, you know, they're they're children. So they don't care. They're gonna stare you right in your soul. <laughs> but they be staring you right in your soul, right? It's so it's so crazy. But no like grown adults, people who are, you know, a little bit older, they can sense it. They will look at you and look away. People can sense it. They're gonna look at you and look away, but children, they're gonna hold it. You know, but sometimes too, adults hold the gaze. You know, they hold it, they can feel it that much. You know, you, you can just know that that person can feel you, bro. They can literally feel you. That's why they're staring so hard. But that's that that's just, you know, goes to being said that this journey is real, man. You know, holding on to this life force makes you more, like, energetic. It makes you, you know, a, a person who can get respected, okay? It makes you a person. People, people want to talk to you. People want to be friendly to you, okay? Because you have something that... You know they can just sense they had they people can sense you have something but they they can't put their mind on it okay because i'll be seeing this every time when i go to the gym people are looking at me staring at me smiling at me i'm like bro okay i get it all right but people no one they don't know what i'm doing but subconsciously they're feeling a different vibe from who i am to compare to others okay women look at you fellas they see a different man you know, you're more confident, you're more I don't care type vibe, right? You're just yourself. You're just in the present moment. And she can tell, she can sense it. But she doesn't know you are retaining your seed. She's not going to look at you like, oh, this guy is not masturbating. Oh, this guy is not busting nuts. <laughs> That's not how it works, bro. Right? She just, she, she could just, she could just sense that you are a different. You are a different, right? You're not like every other guy she, she comes across or she looks at. Because most guys, when they look at women, you know, they're drained they don't got no life force right they're masturbating to porn they're releasing their seed to a, probably a girlfriend they have or to just a random chick right they just spilling their seed so they don't have no power in here right the way look 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 look, look, look at my eyes right now right well, you see you see like a light okay you, you you see a light 
in my eyes. That's the light I'm holding within me. The seed. The seed does this. Okay? The seed gives you the glow. The seed gives you that light. Right? If you go on YouTube and you search up, you know, your sperm cells, you can see you can see the light in the sperm cells, bro. Traveling through your body. What you think this is? It's the glow. Right? All right. Nice. Way to go. Way to go. <laughs> Y'all heard that, bro? I'm at the park right now, man. But yeah, man, that's just, you know, a, this is this is just a random video I got for y'all, bro. Um, more videos to come, right? I have way more content coming. You know, I've just been, you know, I don't know, bro. Some days, I don't know. Some days I have this type of feeling that I don't want to do nothing, right? Even though I'm on retention. Some days it's just something, something doesn't want me to work, right? Something doesn't want me to get up. And I, it's, the spirit of, it's the spirit of laziness, right? And I cast it down, you know, in the name of Jesus, amen. You know, I cast that spirit down because, bro, I can't be lazy, man. I have goals to accomplish, right? You guys probably can relate. You're, you're, you're probably still on retention, but you still kind of feel lazy for some reason. Some, sometimes, not all the time. Sometimes I'm ready, you know, but sometimes you just feel lazy out of nowhere, right? I don't know what it is. Let me know if you guys experienced that. Let me know what you guys think, right? But with that being said, like, comment, share, and subscribe my content more videos to come let me know what you guys want to see from me right and i love y'all man let's keep retaining our seed bro because it gets better the blessings get better you know your life starts to get better things around you starts to work for you god starts to make things work for you okay not against you but for you remember that i love y'all and i'm out man let's get it